your boy Q from Retro Q Gaming back at it again, as always. And we have something nice and interesting to mess around with and try out today. So, what are we doing and what are we looking at? Well, since it's the 1st of February, Square Enix have promised us the Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition benchmark. So we can get a general idea and a general gist of how it's running on people's systems. So, naturally, I've downloaded this bad boy. Now... What I will say is that the reason I am doing this stream, I've already run this benchmark a handful of times on a couple of different quality settings, a couple of different resolutions, etc, etc. And what I am doing for this one is I'm going to crank the graphics, the, the quality settings, the resolution settings, all of that stuff. I'm cranking that up to max and we are going to mess around with NVIDIA Ansel. Because, of course we are. Now, yes, of course, because I do have a good PC, but this game is a bit of a, a crippling benchmark, if you will. So let's go high quality. Unfortunately, the benchmark doesn't support 1440p, which would have been nice for my actual tests. But because we're messing around with Ansel, we're going straight to 4K. Now, I know what people are going to say. The frame rate during this will be a little bit questionable. We're not really running it for the performance aspect or the benchmarking aspect. We're going to mess around with NVIDIA Ansel. And to do that, we need the highest quality settings possible. So, let's do this. Also, strangely enough, one thing to note is... Oh, wait a, wait a minute. Where's my... Hang on. I can't use... Game, you better not be messing with me. I didn't get my Ansel pop-up. If this tries to tell me I can't use Ansel while I'm streaming, I'm going to feel like a right clown. Okay, we can. We can use Ansel while we stream. This is the most important thing. One thing to note real quick. I don't know if it's just me, but there's no audio in the benchmark. So, I don't know what's up with that. But, anyway. Oh my god, it's... F native 4K... Max settings is running at 38 frames per second. That is killing me. That is absolutely killing me. Now, how do I move? I can't even remember how to move my... Oh my god, how did I... How do I Ansel? I haven't used Ansel in so long. Apparently Noctis is off screen. What up, Noctis? Let's look at you and all your high-res 4K glory. Depth of field for days. We can't get a good look at him because depth of field kicks in hardcore. Which we don't want. Let's open up our field of view. There we go. I was feeling really... Like, what was it on? 57? 57 is feeling real bad. Well, let's go all the way up. Let's... Like, look... No, that's too much. That's like super quake edition mode. Uh, let's, let's rock 100 degrees. 100 degrees is nice. Now, what else do we want? Mm, style quality... We don't need roll capture okay let's keep looking around anyway let's go cindy cindy is bay so we're we're going to check out cindy in her glorious 4k high quality setting if this i hate this depth of field setting this depth of field is absolutely killing me see when we get too close to where the depth of field kicks in see we want to focus on Cindy, which we can't seem to do. I haven't used Ansel in so long that it's kind of weird and I have to get used to it again. Let's take a look inside the car because that's what we can do because we're PC players. Yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> Ansel's a bit... Uh, it takes a bit getting used to again. But it is a gorgeous game. I will give it that. Now, of course, this is a benchmark, so it's designed to stress the the system a little bit more than it usually would but before we do that let's let's just continue on a little bit for the rest of we'll move to a different scene before we we snap back to some more ansel and yeah i think i mentioned it before but there doesn't seem to be any sound in the benchmark oh 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 cindy let's go oh no what am i doing my camera i am very okay oh feel the view 30 are you serious game there we go. Let's move this back up to 100. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is why I want NVIDIA Ansel in everything. Especially Borderlands 3. This is why I want this. How can I go fast? Oh, you hold shift to go faster. 
There we go. Nvidia Ansel is the business. And you put this into something like Wait, hang on. Let me we have to look through this. High quality, high low, high low. I can't turn off depth of field. It's really, really aggressive in this game. Like right now depth of field should be kicked should be off because we're all up in Cindy's grill. But it doesn't want to. Let's get some roll in anyway. Because why not? This is how we this is how one might oh no, I'm not even gonna you know what this is how we roll, that's it. Okay, move on. We we go to another scene. As much as we want to ogle Cindy in all her four K glory. I'm gonna check again. No, there's still no sound. Which seems to be normal, I don't know. Now, we're gonna wait till the boys actually you know what? Let's take a quick look at the boys in their transforming car. Oh my god. Controls! Everything's too fast. Here we go. This is much better. This this is what I like. This is the real deal. When depth of field isn't crippling me in every single way. Like, this is the good stuff. Like, look at all the detail on Best Boy Gladio's jacket. Now, obviously, it doesn't resolve 100% properly. I don't have a 4K monitor. So, it's not looking as great as it. Like, you can even see the imperfections in Ignis's skin. His little spots and things like that. Uh, what's his name? Ignis is also arguably best boy. Uh, Noctis is like emo prince of darkness. And look at look at look at me. He drives a car angry for God's sake. And then there's Prompto. No one likes Prompto. Okay, let's go. We continue on. Keep looking around. And of course, I won't be playing the game in 4K because well, look at my 1080 is. I don't know if you can see it on the stream right now, but I have my frame counter running 25 frames per second. That's cinematic as fuck right there. Of course, my, my regular Founders Edition 1080 isn't recommended for... Uh, oh, 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 there's kids there. It's not recommended for for 4K of this game, but we're doing it for Ansel purposes only. Like, look at this. We're, we're finding random people sitting on rocks and checking them out because, of course, we are. Like, oh, whoa, that's... That's some Assassin's Creed Unity stuff right there. Okay, these... I'm not sure if it's these character models. Like, look at this one side of his face. You can see all the... Whatever we call it, like, sun damage spots or whatever it is. But, oh, ha whoa, whoa, field of view, what are you doing? Let's... Let's do some real deal stuff. This is the... I'm going to show you what I used to do in Witcher 3. This is what I used to do. I didn't properly play a Witcher 3, mind you. I just messed around with Ansel in it. I'd fly out into the open world and just look around. Like, look at that. That's beast. Game is paused. You just get to fly around the world looking at whatever you want. Everything nice and rendered. Taking badass screenshots. Like, let me see. What else we got in here? I can't even remember how to use Ansel. It's been so long. Oh, my God. Depth of field. Can we turn it off? Oh, wow. There's way too many options in depth of field. Oh, wow. This really shows I haven't messed around with this in so long. This would have been nice to know when we were trying to ogle Cindy a minute ago, but... So let's let's go. Let's get in nice and close for our... Before we find somewhere where we actually need to turn off depth of field. Let's get in nice and close. Check out the, the rims on the car. Holy crap, that looks gorgeous. What's that? Lu Lucis Callum Rex... Oh, God, I can't even read it. Oh, it's the okay. It's the the name of his dad. Let's take a look around, and see what else we got. Look at like, hang on. Did you see that? Let me. It even has the dust kicking up behind the car and stuff. Granted, from some angles, it's a bit questionable, but it's still cool that you can see, like. Let's let's continue on a little bit. We'll we'll go into further into the next area before some cool stuff kicks off. It kills me seeing twenty five frames per second. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, whoa, 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 there was something interesting. Let's, was there something over? Is that a, oh no, I thought I saw a tent and just someone camping out and hanging out over here and all this stuff. Apparently not. Let's check out some of the quality of the reflections and whatnot. As well as if we go underwater. Oh, it doesn't have like a cool underwater effect. 
That's a shame. Okay, we'll continue on to a new area. But you see my point. This is why I love NVIDIA Ansel. I am generally terrible with taking screenshots, but Ansel would really help out in that aspect. Especially when you factor in games like, I really want Ansel in Borderlands 3. And Ansel, or not Borderlands 3, um, well, what's it called? The game work stuff and the NVIDIA physics in Borderlands 2 is amazing. So it could be even better in Borderlands 3. And of course, we're going to look at the sleeping cat because we are not some sort of weirdos people. We are going to, let's get our field of view. Let's get it. No, you know what? Let's let's keep it narrow. We want we want to focus on Kitty. Now let's see. We're gonna we're gonna mess around with him. We're gonna we're gonna take our first proper screenshot here. Let's see. Let's rotate some get some camera rotation going on. Let's see what else we can do. I'm sure there's there's all types whoa, capture. Capture type. Super resolution. Trees. Oh I just realized. I can take 360 degree VR screenshots and mess around with them on my Rift. I can do that at some other point. Uh, this is this is Kitty's time. So let's see what else do we want. What what else can we do for Kitty? Filter. Hashtag no filter. Retro. Wow, that looks like the wasted screen in GTA when you die. I don't know. I'm not feeling retro for Kitty. Let's go with sepia. No, that's too old timey. No change. Uh, vignette. I'm not well. I'll have to go from normal to. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. We'll take one of Kitty anyway. Let's zoom out. Get a get a nice better look at him here real quick. the field of view in nice and tight 10 degrees we're in console level space here guys let's get another snap okay continue on he just knocked this is an animal he just walks by the cat who do what kind of person is he he's supposed to be a prince we got our birds we got ourselves a chocobo anyone who says his chocobo is wrong now let's get a let's get a good look in on these guys under birds. It's good stuff, good stuff. It's still a little bit 2D-ish. Uh, how did I get the game? The game isn't actually out yet, Ayush. This is only the, the benchmark which Square Enix officially released today. The game isn't out yet. But anyone with a PC can download the benchmark and just run it on that and check like graphical settings and quality and how it runs on your computer. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can run Ansel and take all these fancy screenshots and effects and camera stuff that I'm doing right now. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's, we're going to open this up a little bit more. 100 degrees. Just call me Mr. Fahrenheit. We get a nice, let's see. We get a, we get a nice super resolution screenshot here. Let's see. We're going to go above 4K. Yeah, we're a little bit above 4K. Damn, that's a that's a big picture. We'll let them continue on anyway. And hopefully some stuff will change. We'll get some good pictures in at the new areas. I always thought those things were like weird big cows. And I'm assuming that there's still no sound on the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to check the stream quality. No, there's not. There's only my dumbass talking. Right, weather change. Here we go. We're going to get some weather effects, some rain. No, you know what? Before we do that, we are going for Mr. Cactor. Look at these two. Almost got by. Who do they think they are? We're going to get some nice screenshots of these guys. Snap. We're going to saturate the hell out of them, if I can remember how to do that. Uh, where am I? Filter? There we go. Color. No, contrast. Oh, vibrance. That might work. 
There we go. This is what I'm talking about. I want these guys nice and bright, nice and green, all it is. <laughs> Ansel, so hard. I should... Damn it, Paul, I should have used that name. I should have used that as the stream. I never thought of it. Hansel, so hot right now. Right, we got our nice little... We got our nice little boys, our nice little squad. Where are they? We got a Jumbo Cactor, two mini ones. Let's see, we're going to get... We're going to try to get a better screenshot while we do this. Actually, you know what? Let's zoom all the way out for, for a moment. Get our field of view cranked up to 100 again. Look at all that nice, big, open, lush area. Swamps for days. Is that Prompto left behind? Because no one cares about Prompto. Hmm. We're going to do something fancy. Let's see what else we can mess around with. We need more for these guys. These, these Cactors, or Sabotenders, depending on what your relation to Final Fantasy is, they deserve more, and they deserve better. HDR, I don't have HDR. Uh, this is... No, we need more. We need more. Mood. Oh, this will just change... Yeah. Oh, I'm liking this one. We got a nice cool picture here. Let's go minus 50%. Like, this looks really... I won't say grim, but it looks like really dull. Like, it's a really cold, cold weather. Here we go. Oh, you can even see the rain in in Ansel. It even pauses the rain. That's cool. I'm sure. Let me get a better angle of it. There you go. You can see it across the front of him. Now, let's see if we can get some good, good screenshots. These guys being the focus, of course. Actually, let's let's roll, so they look like they're they're on par. There we go. Is that a bit much? Yeah, we'll go back a tiny bit. There we go. That looks that looks much better. And we continue on. The C the Nvidia CES press car. I only saw the highlights of the the one the press conference. I'm a big fan of the big format gaming displays, but they didn't really have anything other than that that really blew me away. I'm just waiting for Volta to see how interesting that is. I don't plan on upgrading unless it's like ridiculous upgrades, but we'll see. They say Volta is a long time away. Now, now here, this one's going to be good. This is going to be a great example of how we can get in and get some top quality close-up detail on, on some textures. Here we go. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, there's no... Oh, okay. I was going to say there's no just generic reset button, but... It's still look. He looks pretty good. He look. Where am I? I'm behind Noctis. This feel of you is crippling me. I feel like I'm playing a console game. Let's see if we can see down into the fish. No, they they close they close the texture at his mouth. I love how you can still see, like every individual drop of rain causing a ripple in in the water let's zoom all the way out a little bit again and see what we can get oh you know what? we're going to take a nice a nice little screenshot of the boys look at the quality of reflections by the way there's <laughs> there's a little bit of a glitch uh, when it comes to reflections i guess you could call it look at underneath the where essentially their shadows would be it's like it's extending through to through the ground, but anyway, let's let's go. Let's move. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna roll this one again because, of course, we are. Oh, it loses its roll when we when we move. I should have remembered that. It happened like a minute ago. Hmm. Let's get that roll on ever so slightly. No, we're going to need to come out. Of oh, there it is. That's much better. Now, let's see what we can get for the crew. Adjustments. No, I, no contrast. Stop. Why are you doing this to me? 
Virants, here we go. This is what I want. See, there we go. This is looking good. That's a bit too much, but in the 50 to 60 range looks pretty good. I'll take a nice little screenshot of him like this. Poor Prompto. He's, like, stuck out of view, but, well, it's Prompto. No one cares. Let's continue on. Wait for some stuff to happen, some scenes to change, whatever it is we need to do. And yes, by the way, there is no, there seems to be no sound for this anyway. Because, I don't know. I suppose it is just really a graphical benchmark. Now, this is where it's all gonna pop off. Final Fantasy XV, as terrible as the gameplay actually is, the visuals are great, as you can see, and it's got some top quality alpha effects. Like, look at this. You can see it's absorbing like every little bit of of extra stuff in of what whatever you want to call it, eater or whatever it is look at the the face on them they've got their like weird robot eyes and their almost like shogun face deal and this guy is this guy missing an arm this guy's missing his arm i've got the crew ignis what's he doing he's ready to punch his Punch his heart right through. Punch his hand right through someone's heart. Like, look at the effect. That's cool. There's going to be so much good stuff in there as well. When it comes to the real game. Although, that's uh, quite the grip you have on your sword there, Noctis. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll find some much better stuff to take pictures of. Can I move the camera? No, I can't. It's... It's all out of my control. I'm going to wait for something cool to happen. Or a good pose, even. What? Ansel Session cannot be activated at the moment. There we go. The game was hating on me for a second. Uh, how's the Project Scorpio withdrawal? Uh, I, To be honest, I completely forgot I even ever bought one. That's uh, how little I, I miss it. Now, now... It, Prompto, why are you not holding your gun? Why are you like... It's like he's surfing or skating on a, on the axe. Now hopefully we can get some good screenshots here. That guy's face is half hanging off. So let's see. We got some cool stuff. I'm kind of liking this, this angle. See if we can get a much better screenshot in here. We'll open up the field of view ever so slightly. I'm not going to my usual 100 degrees or so. We we'll lose our vibrance. I don't want that. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm liking this screenshot. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna open it up a little bit more just so I can see the, the top of the Magitek. Oh, I'm looking now you, because I've opened it, you can even see the, the guy out here on the right. We couldn't see him a minute ago. I'm gonna. I just. This has to be a roll. Oh, yeah. This is looking much better. It's okay, guys. I'll be a professional in no time. Let's see what else we got. We're going to wait for some... For some crazy... Transparency effects all over the place. Here we go. This will be some... It's funny, I've never actually gotten this in the game check out his oh more assassin's creed unity stuff his eyes all the like snow effect and the frost all over his jacket all the crazy naked shiva chicks floating around there's loads of them look at them they're all in the air and everything Tons of them. And that, all the, the icy fog in the distance. It looks really good at the same time. Let's see what else we got here. In the next CPU generation, which is better, Intel or... I'm not sure. I'm still not the hugest supporter of Ryzen. Not because I'm an Intel fanboy, but because uh, there have been... there I have many issues with Ryzen that lots of people don't seem to talk about. 
But like, look at all the snow effects and, and everything is cool. There's, there's all the, I don't know what you call them, the trails when they're darting around. Let's get some. Now this, this is something that absolutely begs for temperature. If I can remember how to do it. Cutter balancer. This screams drop. Oh, wait, wait, where are we? Is it contrast? No, it's not contrast. Mood, that was it. Temperature. Like, this screams. Whoa, why is Noctis floating? I never even noticed that. What is this? It's like someone's. What? She's going all. Like, ring. Instead of coming out of TV, she's coming through the floor. Uh, we'll, we'll get a good screenshot here. We're going to get a good one of Noctis surrounded by all these. We're going to have to angle it a little bit so we don't see his feet. No, that won't work. Okay, let's go. Let's get a nice... Oh, look at the, the, the light reflecting off the ground. I have to get that into the picture. Damn. If I want to get it into the picture, it's going to show up on... It's going to show him floating in the in the air. Well, you got to do what you got to do. There we go. That I think that's looking pretty good. I really wish he wasn't... I really wish, one, he wasn't floating. And two, that, like, head and hair and all wasn't coming through the... Coming through the ground, but... It is what it is. It's a, it's a benchmark. It's not perfect. By the way, happy early birthday, if that's the case, Nugget. We got them doing some more fancy stuff. Here they are. Oh, look. Like, look straight away. All the snow and ice effects just right in front. I picked that one at a good time. No, no. I was going to say I picked that one at a good time, and then I, I accidentally ruined it. Look at him. He's complete. Well, it is Noctis. He's completely oblivious to all women. I still really wish he wasn't floating, but we can probably get it in a little bit better. We got a snap of that. If we can get it from another good angle. They're everywhere. I'm going to try to get as many of them into one picture as possible. And at the same time... I'm going to have to start messing around with the depth of field because it's really bad here. No, that's exposure. Accidentally clicked. Depth of field. I have to find out what part, like what percentage they're actually. See, far blur amount. That's probably only way off in the distance. I'll try to turn the bulky radius all the way down. No, it's not going to really do it. Damn. We'll we'll make a we'll make a better one anyway. It's going to be knocked just completely out of his element, completely overwhelmed. Like that's not a bad one. Like this this Shiva here. I th I assume they're all Shiva. I do, I don't know how it works. I haven't got her in game. But she's just like making a mockery of him. It's brilliant. He's just so completely lost. Here we go. This is gonna make a good screenshot. Let's get rid of our get rid of our temperature balance. Like look at look at the sky. All the clouds. Whatever they're doing for their special attack is is about to pop off. Look at the ice everywhere. Yeah, this is going to make a good screenshot. If I can if I can Oh, what is that out there? If I can get this perfectly. If I can get them all like kind of dancing on air.
Then we'll have a good one on our hands. I don't know what the style transfer beta is. No, I don't want to download the style transfer package. Right, what would be a good filter or effect to put on this? I want to, I think if I turn the contrast up really high on this one. No, not contrast, uh, vibrancy. I want them really blue. There we go. It's more like the Shiva I know. We get them really blue. And we're going to take this one at a super high resolution. We're going to take this at 12,800 by 7,200. 4K ain't got nothing on them, my screenshots. <laughs> it has to render like every single little piece. It's brilliant. Uh, that, that screenshot is that screenshot alone was 1.1 gigabyte. So let's see what else we got in the next one. Everything just falling over, ice thawing out, and Magitech falls over to bits and explodes. Oh no! I have my hand off the keyboard. That would have made a brilliant one. All the explosion effects and embers just floating through the air. Okay, Gladio, let's see what you can do. Check out the inside of the tent. If we change our field of view just a little bit. See, this it's, it's this kind of stuff where I need to... I need to learn how to mess with depth of field properly. Actually, this would be a perfect example of where I could learn to mess with depth of field. Right, focus depth. I want to focus off in a distance. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. No, it's too far. Far blur amount. No. I don't know. Oh, I need to watch like a YouTube video or something on, on how to actually mess with all the depth of field on this, but... We'll still get some good screenshots. Here we go. We just need to... We need to get some good... Good positions. Oh, apparently you can just press space to get a quick screenshot. I didn't even realize that. We need Ignis in focus. Uh, focus depth will be close. Nope. You can tell I don't use Ansel too much. But that's beside the point. We want... We're going to take a nice nice top aerial view screenshot. It's out of focus. Game, why do you do this to me? We're going to we're gonna figure this out if it kills me. Far blur amount. None. Near blur. No. Blur radius. No. Bokeh vertices, no. Bokeh intensity, no. It really doesn't want me to take that screenshot. But we'll figure it out. Damn it, prom Prompto, you have a camera. Teach me how to how to depth the field. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just continue along till we get a better a better one to mess with. There we go. They're in focus now. And look, Prompto's even getting his camera on. He thinks he's hot stuff. Even though he's the worst member of the crew. So what do we want? Feel of you needs to open up a little bit. We don't want to go too crazy with it. I want to keep it tight. Just so it has has the, the four of them in it. I like I like the way Prompto's just peeking in, just being a, a little bit of a troll. Ever so slightly. I 
I want to I wanna make sure I get Ignis in, in with there too. Uh, let's see. Thank you for making this. I've been waiting for to see this for ages. No problem. Uh, no problem, Aldo. So let's see if I can get... I need to drop the camera a little bit lower. Oh, that's blocking his face. Oh, that's a good one. I like I like it here. There we go. I'm digging this. We're going to snap this bad boy. See what else we can find. See, they're all in... We need to wait for them to get pose, change their poses or something. Or well, Ignis. Ignis is the... The unsung hero. Like, look at him. He's just been completely neglected. But he's busy. He's focusing on... Oh, it's the grill. He is the cook. The chef, after all. Now, let's get something from... I won't say Ignis's perspective, because he's just going to be looking at that. But let's get one that focuses on Ignis. The unsung hero of the crew. I want one that really highlights the fact that he's all about that precision. He's all about just doing what he does. And everything is absolute and must be completely precise regardless of what's going on around him. There we go. Yeah, there's probably no sound because it would be a bigger file to download and it is just a visual, like a graphical benchmark, so I suppose sound wouldn't really be too crazy. Ignis gets his own little, his own little showcase. This is what we need right here. This is Ignis at his finest. I did, whoa, no, I did it wrong. I keep messing up these buttons sometimes. I promise when the full game comes out, I will be a master of shadow play. Not shadow play, Ansel. I'll be a master of Ansel. Oh, you saw a video of it, of the test with sound, Stargate. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that if that was the case. I've actually run this benchmark a few times before I ran this stream for the Ansel version, and none of my ones had sound, so I just assumed that there was no sound in it. I didn't realize that. I wonder why I wonder what's up with it for my one. All my other sound is working just fine, but I don't know why it's not working for my benchmark. Because I noticed there's no exact sound settings. And your benchmark has sound as well, Josh. Okay, so apparently the benchmark just hates me for some reason, so Well that that sucks, but uh I'm gonna have to mess around with that. Cause I'm sure I'm sure as you guys noticed when you were running the benchmark yourselves, there's no options for sound, there's no mute, there's no sound options, so I, I don't know. I'm going to have to run it again a couple of times. and I've even tried closing it out and reinstalling, no, I haven't reinstalled it, sorry. I've, I've even tried closing it out and reopening the, the benchmark, and it still did that. Game just hates me, oh well. Can we, we're going to try to get in. Close. There we go. Ignis and his crazy hair. We need to get just out a little bit further. Uh, let's see. Maybe Windows looks at the default sound device. Well, I actually... Um, uh, has the option to change between... J Wait, it does? I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Well... As soon as we finish running here, I'll uh, I'll back out and we'll have a look. Apparently, I'm blind. I'm I'm usually used to Square Enix benchmarks from all the Final Fantasy fourteen ones I've had, but oh, the food, the food, we need the food. This food looks so ridiculously good. I don't even like whatever it is, but it just looks good. And that's all that matters. And we're going to do something super crazy because of the food. We are going to make... No, I'm not making a 31 gigabyte screenshot. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to make a 4.7 gigabyte screenshot. Because of course we are. 
it's going to be an exceptionally high quality screenshot. Uh, it's available in Japanese and English only. I know I had the option to... I downloaded it from the... Oh, what was it called? I downloaded it from the European website. And when I was installing it, I installed it in English language. But that was uh, that was about it. I'll have a look now in a second because we know that this is just about over. Well, <laughs> we also have to wait for our screenshot to take because it's a damn big screenshot. Because we all know that bigger is better. And of course, I know, for those of you who haven't been here the entire time, oh, let me, let me, this will be a good, this will be a good screenshot. If we just open up the field of view ever so slightly. Done. We'll try to get one more. There we go. So what I was, um, I do, oh yeah, what I was saying is, if, for those of you who weren't here from the start, this obviously was used for quality purposes, hence why I'm running at 4K max settings and I'm getting a terrible frame rate. Well, I say terrible, but it's like 27 frames per second. I don't plan on running it at 4K when I actually get it. I don't have a 4K monitor, but you get the idea. Yes, those Cindy pictures are really where it's at. Now, so this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm looking at it here. And, like, there's... Is, is this the option you mean here? In the top right corner? There's the English and Japanese ones. But it's strange because it doesn't give me any sounds. Obviously, there's no loop. These are, There's no settings, tabs, or anything. So, we're going to drop it down. Just because, for why not, you know? We'll run it in... We'll run it in light quality, 1080p. No, you know, we won't. We'll run it in high quality, 1080p. So, let's see. Uh, you score the same as I do with higher quality. Uh, in, in what? 4K or whatever it is. It'll also depend on your graphics card and, and whatnot, so... But I when once the full game comes out, I pl I plan on playing it at either max or near max at 1440p, at 4K. Okay, it's got the same. So you must have a you must have a GTX 1080 as well, right? If that's the case. But anyway, we'll we'll just run on high quality 1080p just for a second, just to see if we can get sounds or something working. Now I am going to I'm going to turn up my speakers ever so slightly cuz I don't have headphones on because I realized that it probably wouldn't have sound. No, see I'm still getting no sound. Yeah, you need a 1080 Ti to do some like real 4K stuff. Uh you you have a 1070 but you got a you got 3069 at standard quality. I don't remember what I got my actual benchmarks on, short of the one there, because I ran this a few times before, but, like, you can see what I mean. I'm still getting no sound on this one. So, yeah, that that's pretty much it. The, uh, she says, back it up, back it up to the reversing car. Okay, I didn't realize that. Uh, there was a, uh, Whoa, okay, that just backs straight out of it. I was looking for a way to back out of it. You know what I'm going to do? Give me one second. Actually, I'm not going to uninstall it live right now, but uh, I'm going to boot it back up. We're going to see if it does anything when I play it in Japanese. Because it would be nice to actually have with sound. I also have a uh, Persona 3 wallpaper as well. I'm subbing right now. No problem. Thank you for that. If uh, no, there's, I appreciate that. But there's, um, yeah, there's still nothing coming from, from the Japanese side of it. Let's take a quick look at my audio sense. See, the thing about it is everything else is working fine. See, it's all. Uh, where am I? Volume mixer. 
no, not volume mixer. I want playback devices. So yeah, it's still using my default device. That's there's no problem with that. Yeah, it's, it's all still there. I have my uh, my sound capture because I hate the Elgato Elgato sound capture. I have that disabled. So it should be working. Um I will quickly I'm going to drop the volume real quick here just to make sure. Yep, it's working. I could hear that in my speakers. So I don't know why it's doing that for me. The only thing I can I can assume, or not even assume, uh, the only thing I can do is take a guess and just, I'll have to reinstall it and, and hope for the best. But, well, it is what it is. So, uh, right, we'll, we'll run it once more, just for the purpose of the, the this, this one isn't going to be Ansel, but I'm just going to run it on the lowest quality setting at 720p, just to see what I can get. Because obviously you're not you don't answer something at 720p lowest quality. Oh my god, dude! Even the hood is terrible. Oh my god, that is brutal. I don't know how bad it looks for everyone else, but for me that looks terrible. The alias edges and just resolution of the car and every edge on it was awful. <laughs> it was brutal, alright. Let's keep going, just just to see what everything else looks like. It'd be nice and quick, anyway. I'm really raging about that now that I know that there's just something wrong with my benchmark and that the sound works for everyone else. I'm really annoyed about that now. Yeah, it looks worse than the Xbox One version now. <laughs> That's true. As far as I know, um, I think, if I remember correctly, the Xbox One version has, like, a dynamic 1080p. And, obviously, it's got better quality settings than this light version, but... Damn. Yeah, 720p shenanigans is basically it. What am I getting? I'm getting 160 frames per second right now. 164, 168. Oh, actually, does that show up in the corner on the stream? No, it doesn't. 174... <laughs> It's pretty, uh, it's pretty rough, all right. Hundred, yeah, it is. It is smooth as as smooth as silk, though. I'm really taking advantage of the 120 hertz monitor I have. That <laughs> that I wouldn't even call it that AA. It's more that lack of AA. When it does show up, you can see the little green frame counter in the top left. Because I'm looking at the stream as well, and I don't see it. Oh, it, it is. It is there. I just I couldn't see it because it was so small. But yeah, it's uh it's pretty strange. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it at first because I I'm as ghetto as it sounds, I monitor the um the stream on my phone. So like it's tiny up in the corner. I don't even do it for stream purposes, to be honest. I just do it so I can see the chat and talk to you guys. So that's the main purpose of that. I'm going to have to, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall it. And then I'm going to delete the current files. And I'm going to re-download it and try it that way. I do notice a lot of stuttering when they get up at the Chocomos in every bench. I noticed that too, yeah, when they first get up on it. There's one or two other moments as well. I think it's when the the Shiva's, uh, Shiva avatars appear. That there's like a, a little brief stutter as well. Maybe just restart the PC. That could, well, I mean, that could potentially be it. But why would everything else still work? That's what I don't get. Oh, I wait, was I just noticed the airship flew by there. So it is it's slightly different every time. Because the the last time when we ran it in 4K, it was when we took the picture, the boys were standing behind them. Whereas this time they like ran right up in front of them. I was thinking it was more of a 
completely 100% static benchmark. I don't know if it's just a stream, but the frame rate of animations doesn't look high. Uh, yeah, like it. Uh, yeah, I noticed that with uh, with some of the animations as well. Just one thing I will say is make sure sometimes, depending on your internet, it doesn't automatically put you to 1080 free, 1080p 60 frames per second in the chat or in the stream. So make sure you manually do that just uh, if you need. I'm streaming at uh, 18,000 kilobits per second, so the quality and frame rate should be there. Of course, I'm sure the game is uh, kind of hard programmed, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, like it has to load and stutters. I'll try and well, I'm running the benchmark on one of the best SATA three SSDs you can get at the moment. So, I mean, realistically, the only step up from here is a uh, an M dot two NVE SSD. Like I'm, what, what's my? I I want to say six hundred and sixty Mbps read speed. Camera frame rate looks smooth, but the rest doesn't. Can't explain. Oh, you've an M.2. Okay, nice. So that that would eliminate anything from there. Uh, I don't know. What I think it might be is that because the game was obviously developed with consoles in mind first, not even PS4 Pro and Xbox One, I think the game originally had everything crafted animation-wise probably at 30 frames per second, which could have done... I noticed it in some things... Like, the way stuff, certain things move, like hair and cloth and fiber and fabrics and all that, but... Uh, I want to know if, if I'll be able to play it on my G44 GTX 1050 Ti, at least on 1080p. Uh, what we can do, actually, Cerbero, is uh, once this benchmark ends now in a second, we'll take a quick look, because it does link us to the overall performance of extremely high of course it's going to be extremely high it's a gtx 1080 running at 720p on the lowest settings but uh yeah watch i'll show you now when so stats here we go so let me see looking at here uh you have a 1050 ti at 1080p so let's see we we'll scroll down 1080p okay didn't open the rest of them Okay, it only opens the resolution you run on. Okay. Well, the handy thing is at least you can download it and and try it that way. And you can check it yourself. Like, it'll come in there. Is the 1050 Ti shown? Uh, yeah, the 1080 Ti is tested. So, at least if you check that out. Or even if you go to the benchmark website itself, you can probably check these settings. Calculated scores and what they do for gameplay. No, it just it gives you the, the overall idea of there. Uh, let's see, I have a PS4 Pro. When you run the high frame rate mode, it seems like some of the animations have been sped up to fit to 60 frames per second. Something is wrong. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, uh, I originally played it on a PS4 Pro, and I stopped because the frame rate was just too bad. But I, And I played it in the, the light mode as well, because I was trying to hit 60 frames per second. And, you, yeah, it's... You know, I I feel exactly what you're saying. Some of the stuff just looks off. Uh, it's kind of annoying. The 1050 Ti scores 3908 at 1080p standard, and it says 33,000 plus is playable. Okay, so you get the so here we go, like 3,000 to 4,500 standard level of performance can be expected. So I'd say once you pick the proper quality settings and all that stuff, you should be good to go. But I don't know, that's really annoying me about the sound now. That, well, that sucks. So what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to... I'm, I am going to end the stream now in a second. I'm just going to talk for like a minute just as a quick little outro before uh, we do the usual. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to uninstall this. Well, obviously, I'm going to end the stream first. And then I'm going to uninstall this. I'm going to delete all the local files from the benchmark, even in, including the download off my computer. Redownload it reinstall it and hopefully it works then because i have a couple of videos saved that i want to upload to the website uh, to the website to youtube as it is for just like benchmarking purposes the actual ones but they've got no sound so i'd much prefer them to actually have sound so because i mean let's face it the first one 
I, I didn't even talk in the benchmark ones. It's just literally the, the stream one. Uh, see, like the food at the end of the benchmark, it looks like it jumps all up. I did notice that when he puts it down and it's just sitting there and the camera's not moving. But I will say this at uh, one thing. When it was in 4K, it didn't look like that. But when I was running at 1080p, it was like the edges were shimmering a little bit, which I did expect a little bit because I, I play on a 1440p monitor and... It doesn't have the op the benchmark doesn't have the option for 1440p so i expected that a little bit anyway so let's see uh nice thank you is the difference of the current version on steam to the royal one uh run to get no the 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 windows edition the pc version no matter where you get it if you get it on uh, steam origin or the microsoft store they're all the royal edition of the game so they all have the same content of the game and they have the same content of the console versions of the royal edition when that comes out which i believe is on the same day as the pc version so it's like all i think it's all the dlc i don't know if it includes like the second season pass work of dlc but it's all the previous release stuff the quality of life changes the uh was a comrades episode ignis all that crap i don't know how they're going to work for stuff like the timed events maybe they'll restart them on the pc version i don't know how it is but well it's out in, what, a month and five days, so we'll see what it is anyway. So that's it for the moment. I, I won't bother streaming the, the updated with sound version, but I will be, if I can get the sound working, I'll be uploading the, the working sound version of the benchmark tests and all that. Uh, I think it includes everything that has been released. Yeah, on consoles so far. Okay, that that would be it. Uh, apparently, there's a second like season pass of DLC planned. Um, it seems to be unofficial, but we'll see how it goes anyway. So that's it for the moment. Uh, I'm really surprised there was so many people that wanted to see this. Uh, I thought I'd have like two people that ever showed up to watch, but like every single one of you for just showing up and shooting the shit with me because it made taking pictures, even if it was eerily quiet with the exception of me talking uh it just made it pass so much better and it just made it so much better in every way so thanks every single one of you feel free to check out the actual benchmark ones if you want to see the actual scores and proper tests rather than just messing around with ansel but until then peace out everyone and i will see you guys next time or whatever it is maybe i'll never see you again either way thanks for joining me in all of this peace out